Hi there, I'm Ellen from the Charles and Ellen Academy and today I'm here with the last and fourth update of this embroidery canvas project. It's part of the Embroider Your Stress Away series, working on easy, accessible projects that can allow you to just get back into creativity in case you've been having a break or just feel a little bit down. This project has been a lifesaver for me. I really feel that over this past month that I've been stitching on it, it's just been giving so much energy, both through the repetitive stitches, the fact that it's a treated canvas makes it a little bit more noisy when I push it through. So these boom, boom pushes through has been just really adding to that relaxation and not to men not to forget the fact that I've been able to work with colors that I love. So I thought that for this last update, you see there are just a few empty spaces left, a little bit of dark blue. And also I was thinking to add a few straight stitches, horizontal straight stitches scattered out to just enhance this reflection of the sun on the ocean. So thinking to just add these last few stitches together with you because it's simply so satisfying this final stretch of any embroidery project or any creative art project the last few stitches there's just or most of the time it's just so satisfying but at the same time it's a little bit emotional because oh okay now now you need to put that away and it's mostly if it's been filling you with a lot of joy, but most of the time, the great majority of the time, it is just this huge satisfaction, feeling of fulfillment. And I thought I'll bless you with that today. So what I'm doing here now is just adding these round stitches. But it's, it's really just regular straight stitches that I'm just doing around the border. Uh, because I felt as it is straight onto a canvas and personally when I do painting I love to paint the sides of the canvas as well to really make a continuous artwork so that when you look at it from the side standing in your bookshelf it looks beautiful as well all right adding the last couple of stitches of that blue just one more in here because it's a little bit hard to attach the floss if you're just too too close to the border and here now you get a chance to see the back side as well I'm making a knot last time I said that I was gonna go and head out and get some more canvases and I actually I have gotten I'll just show you quickly. I got two black ones and one white one and in some varying sizes. So watch this space because I will, well, this was a mess. <laughs> oh, there we go. There's the end. Um, I'm going to be continuing to do a few canvas projects because it is really, I found that working straight onto a canvas when you feel a little bit out of creative energy has really helped in just getting over that first hurdle. And the fact that now that I'm finishing this, I'm done. I'm ready to go. This is already a beautiful art way, artwork ready to be displayed. I'm using here a soft pink to fill out the remaining gaps. Let me also zoom in a little bit extra for that added satisfaction. For those of you who have been stitching along with me, also working on canvas projects, I know there are loads of you that have been emailing me or rather answering my emails and told me that you also had some canvases lying around and you weren't really sure how to use them. And this is a great way to get started. How's it going for you? I hope you've been finding the same satisfaction in the process as I have. You obviously don't have to make a sunset or a sunrise scene on these canvases. You can really do anything you want. I'm actually thinking of doing some kind of greenery scene on 
another canvas of the ones I bought because greenery and leaves it's something else that brings me a ton of joy and this new season getting back into that creative flow I really want to focus on finding and working on projects that just bring me tremendous joy because I'm imagining if it does it's going to bring you some joy too all right look at all those colors how beautiful it is next to each other i'm absolutely thrilled maybe should have attached it attached the canvas because i feel like it's moving a lot in the camera the but here we go i'm sorry for that i'll do attach it next time Oopla. dropped it over I'm only doing one knot as this is not embroidery on clothes or anything like that I'm not too worried about it untangling or anything and I don't really see why it would to be honest so one knot is more than sufficient I've been continuing to mix up a lot of different floss. It's primarily the cotton moulinet floss, but I've been using a mix of, a mix of, let me zoom out a little bit again to just have various looks at this. I've been using a mix of variated floss as well as one colored floss, primarily focusing on using a lot of leftover floss that I had lying around. But these types of colorful projects where there isn't any specific color guide, you don't need to use a certain color. I've really taken the liberty to use up some small bits and pieces of varying floss that, that has been lying around. I just love that color work. Just look how the how it's shining. It makes me so excited. While stitching on this project, I've also been listening to some different podcasts and different shows and taken a lot of inspiration for other projects. And I've seen there's a lot of these so-called just because projects going on. And I feel that this canvas is somewhat of a just because project for me. Okay, I'll actually just stick that in on the border because the floss got way too short. There we go. This just because project that you do something just because you love it, just because you think it's fun. Now this naturally is already an art to be able to display, but sometimes this is something I've reflecting, been reflecting a lot upon, or a lot, a lot on, that you don't always have to have this certain utility value. We're so focused in today's society that we cannot waste time. Like if you can't, we have to be extremely productive all the time. First of all, I think this is, is something productive, right? We are producing something compared to just sitting on our computers. Uh, but the big, one of the biggest kind of, uh, oh, what can, what's the word? Questions I get from those who are still hesitant to try out embroidery is that, oh, but what will I use it for compared to knitting where Okay, if I knit a sweater, I can use it. And fine, I completely buy that argument. But once you've knitted 10 sweaters, are you really going to add more value just because you have another sweater? You don't need another sweater. With a lot of creativity, I think that the need, the purpose of it is in the making of it. And if the making brings you joy, then you've already won. 
if the whole process of making an artwork brings you a lot of joy, makes you happy, makes you feel good, then that is going to have a positive impact on all other areas of your life. And we will naturally think that whatever we were doing that brought that shift of mindset, that brought that shift of mind, made us feel more energetic, is going to be worth it, right? So that's a little bit where I'm coming at with, sorry, it's kind of stuck here, up, where I'm coming at with the embroidery. That it is incredibly helpful in bringing the spirits up, making us slow down, feel less stressed and doing something beautiful and beauty in itself as well doing something that you think is beautiful i think is actually a necessity beauty is a necessity because it makes us happy anyway that got maybe philosophical this is how it goes when you create um especially when you're working on these freer projects it's i'm just sharing now openly some of these thoughts that i'm having as i am stitching and as i am creating reflect on a lot of these different stuff and uh, there isn't also much time necessarily to think about these stuff otherwise because you know life maybe if, if you also have small kids or a job or you know just the chores at home like there's always so many things going on that we don't really have the time to just or this headspace maybe to sit down and reflect on some philosophical things and i find working on embroidery it's just this perfect opportunity to really take those moments and reflect upon things how are you feeling why are you feeling that way dream about stuff personally i also love to think about the like a uh, more projects that i can do but that's always happens once you start creating it's like if you feel blocked if you feel creatively blocked it's it's sufficient to just pick up any project even just a pen and paper you don't even need to necessarily know exactly what it is you're going to stitch <laughs> just getting started and you will have hundreds of new ideas of what you can do so really that is my biggest advice all right can you see it it's only this part left oh and those small straight stitches Whew. oh i almost felt like okay this is it it's the last floss but no almost the last floss take it around this is personally the first time that i am stitching around the borders on a canvas like this i really love it on this project because of the continuous of the colors it feels like this scene is just flowing out on the sides and i think it gives a really really nice finishing but i don't know if i would do it on all projects so it really depends Thanks to the fact that it's a lot of colors, I think it works fantastic. But if I was doing more of a monocolor, monotone design, I'm not sure I would, I would do it with just one color. I don't know. We will see. But that is my experience and take on it so far. Maybe one more here. This feeling when the stitches are just falling into place and filling up these empty gaps, it's just fabulous. It's like... There we go. All right, now it is really just one piece of floss left. That's the, G the yellow to just add some small sparkles on the surface. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. 
I might actually put this on display in my bedroom or my bedroom <laughs> or bedroom that I'm sharing with the whole family. Uh, but I'm going to put it next to my bed, my side of the bed. And um, it's just going to bring so much joy because this is reminding me of all the love I have for this art, craft, whatever you want to call it. This has really been a labor of love. My oldest daughter has also been helping me adding a few of these stitches. She's starting to be really curious about what mom's doing. Um, so we've been working on some smaller, easier stitch projects with some bigger needles that she's been thinking it's really, really fun. But the most fun, of course, is always to work on mom's project, right? <laughs> So at the end of the day, I ended up working on hers and she was doing a couple of stitches on mine, which I do not mind at all, to be honest. I'm just super thrilled and filled with joy that she is also intrigued and excited about creating. I believe that by showing her when I'm sit sitting, stitching, for example, that naturally makes her want to try it out. Or it's so, at least so far, if I tell her to do it, she doesn't want to. But if she sees me do it, she wants to. Um, and it's a lovely, it's a lovely type of project. It's a lovely type of, of thing to, to share together. All right, we, the, the, these sparkles on the ocean, on the water, it's going to get more and more spread out as we go further and further away from the sun. And if you remember, it's usually kind of like more closer and it gets less and less and less and less the further away from the sun. Like that, I think. But look at that sky. I've actually been contemplating to do one that is only focused on sky and like maybe skip the ocean part and just now this was because I wanted to center the sun. I made I made the horizon line in the middle of the canvas to have a clear starting point and also to have a clear balance, somewhat balanced composition. But I think I might do one where the sun is down and then the whole thing is just a gorgeous sky. Think about that. All right, let me zoom out. Oh, wrong way. Maybe actually you might want to just have a closer look at it first, just for the joy of it. And the sides get such a cool effect when you're using so much different colors gets really absolutely stunning. We zoom out and voila, as we say in French, here it is. Thank you so much for following along this journey, this project, Embroider Your Stress Away, um, this Embroidery on Canvas project. It's been absolutely fantastic. I feel energized. I feel I've finally gotten back into it and I've got so much new stuff going on and ready to share with you. And uh, here you can also see the back one last time. And if you want to learn more about embroidery, if this was your first encounter with embroidery, um, come and join us in the Charles Allen Academy. We've got some free courses and free pattern there as well to just give, get you started. And we also have about, I believe it's 35, six courses in there as well on architectural embroidery, embroidery on your clothes, um, thread sketching, different color works, thread painting techniques, loads of different things. Learn how to create your own design, you name it. And it's all inside of the Academy membership so that there's only a small, for a small fee, you can access all of it. All right, so that it's all in one place there to inspire and encourage you to get creative, get those creative vibes going, learn something new, learn a skill for life, because once you learn how to do it, you can always do it. And it is such a resource to have. 
Thank you so much. Check out the link below for the Chalcedon Academy as well as the free pattern and the free resources we've got. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.